16. What is the slope of the line represented by 1 8 X plus 3 Y equals 3? To get the slope, we need it Y equals whatever in front of X. That's the key. Okay, that's our key. So we've got to get Y by itself. So the first step we're going to do, so let's just rewrite this. 1 8 X plus 3Y equals 3. We've got to move the X over. Okay, so we're going to subtract 1 8 of an X from both sides of the equation. Gets rid of it here. It leaves me 3Y. I'll put this negative 1 8 X up front because we want it up front. Plus 3. Now, Right now, it looks like it's 1 8. However, it's not a single Y yet. You're still multiplying by 3. You got to get rid of that by dividing by 3. So we're dividing this guy by 3. Now, technically, and we're dividing every piece by 3. If I take an eighth and I divide it into three more parts, it's getting even smaller. Really, this is the fraction 3 over 1, right? We're dividing by 3 over 1, which is 3. How do we divide fractions? We multiply by the reciprocal. It's negative 1 24th. Negative 1 24x plus 1. We have a slope of negative 1 24th. Choice B. Now, even if we weren't sure, let's say we had no clue. I can't divide. I don't know what to do. When you moved it over, you saw it was negative. So you at least knew it was this one or this one. And you knew you still had to divide by three, so it had to change, so it couldn't have stayed one-eighth, so that put him out of the picture, which means B was the only thing possibly left, even if you couldn't do the division.